Hey YouTube, welcome back to my happy place. A little bit of time uh, in between work and a, another commitment I've got to get to this evening. So, I want to make an angled die, I guess, maybe, to use in the greener here to be able to bend 90 degrees. Some junk I think I can make work. I probably have a little more than I need. And I could hit it with the Lincoln, I guess, but I've got this and I made a couple videos with it and I want to keep keep going, uh, just keep trying it and keep running this thing through its paces. So what I want to do is take one of these, set it about like that, weld a base to it, then have a second one that will go on top that will have a piece something like that which will then be what gets pressed right there alrighty mister president and I just well that one to the table oh maybe not That basically seems to be what I want for my base. Good enough. Man, that's kind of ugly, but whatever. All right, this piece will be going in the top. This will be the plate that the uh, press actually pushes down on. A lot of slag with this welder. It is definitely messy. Heck, conceptually, that's finished. I gotta run. Prior commitments. Uh, I'm gonna let this cool, come back, run a few more beads on it, and uh, stick some metal in it, stick it in the press, see what we can do with it. I'm back. Uh, after uh, it was 40 days and 40 nights before I got back at this, so it's uh, been a long and hectic, hectic week. Um, I did do more welding on these because it gets so hot that I didn't want to have all that lag time of having to let it cool off. So let's get this cleaned off. I'll show it to you what it looks like all welded up and then we will throw it in the arbor press and see what we can bend with it. If we can bend anything. Alright. Now keep in mind this is all out of scrap so it's ugly. But it's kind of a uh a prototype, I guess. Um, so here's my base. The three pieces welded. The welds, I don't know if you can see, the welds with that uh, Chicago Electric aren't too bad. It turned out okay for what it is. Uh, and then the top was just a flat piece. I'll try to, I guess I need to try to clean that up, that spatter off of there. But that's just a flat piece to be able to, to press down, so. Let's see what we got. We got a little piece of galvanized, so we'll set that in there. Let's see what it does. So we can do this without losing a finger.
lined up pretty well, I think. And hey, it's not bad. It's not bad, not bad. All right, let's move up to something a little bigger. Uh, we'll try bending this thicker piece of stuff here. Easy peasy. Makes a nice bend. Here's a small, even thicker piece. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh! Yeah, this is harder. But, oh yeah. All right. Yeah. That's that's three sixteenths, if not a quarter. That's pretty good. I wonder if we could get this to bend. Might end up having to put a cheater bar on the uh, the press here. Oh, that's not wanting to go. Let's see if we can put a cheater bar on this thing. All right, something's bound to break here. It's going. No, I think we taxed it there. Yeah, it was probably a little too much. All right, guys, there you have it. It's uh. Quick way to make a 90 degree uh, break, arbor press break jig die set. I don't know. Anybody know what that would be called? If you do, put it down in the comments. Let me know because I don't know what I'm doing. I got to say, I stole this idea from my father-in-law out of his shop. Uh, I'm assuming he probably stole it from somebody who stole it from somebody who stole it from somebody. That's the way it works. That's how you learn to do things. <sighs> That's pretty cool. I mean, the welds held pretty good with the Chicago Electric here. So, this is what, I don't know, my third video using the uh, Harbor Freight Welder. And uh, I got to say, you know, I said for $90, if that's all you can afford and that's all you need, I'd say go for it. But it, it takes uh, it takes some learning. This thing's nice. I think we'll uh, probably see it in, in a lot more future videos. So, see you guys on the next video. And right now, I got to clean this place up.